Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we'll be reacting to Tom, uh, Tom, <laughs> I mean top 10 amazing facts about Jamaica. So I hope you enjoy it and before getting to the video, don't forget to follow us on our social media account. I'm keeping that in. How did you get that wrong? I mean, mum, you love the country, don't you? It's one, one country I always wanted to visit, Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. so we thought um, we'll go to a different part of the world, let's find out about the different countries. So I guess guys, if you want us to do more videos like this, please let us know. And we thought we'd be able to try it out, see how it works. So the top 10 facts about Jamaica. I don't know much about Jamaica over there, it's like Palm in, the, in the Caribbean. In, so it's like, it's in uh, between North America and South America, is that correct? Yeah. It's like an island there, isn't it? In between. Yeah. So yeah. Mm. But it within that, beautiful. yeah, it looks really nice. Yes, and I've seen a few people go down yeah. online and it's like, wow, this looks really nice. And my mum's just always... Talks Talks about go about going there, like Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. So let's what, let's see how Jamaica looks. Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Tangent hey, Archive. Nestled between Cuba, Haiti, Mexico there. and South America is a tropical King. paradise visited by over 1 million tourists annually. Beyond its tourism, the Caribbean island of Jamaica has no shortage of fascinating culture and history that we just can't wait to explore. And as we get started, help us out by hitting that like button and be sure to leave us a comment because we're always looking to engage in interesting conversations with you. Also, don't forget to click the bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video. Number 10, Fame of Jamaica. If you had to choose just a handful of famous names to represent your nation, would you include the athlete known for his incredible speed? Maybe the freedom-fighting musician that favored peace, uh -huh. happiness, and marijuana? How about the boombastic reggae fusion singer? Usain Bolt, Bob Marley, and Shaggy aside, there are many notable names that hail from Jamaica, including proponent of the Pan-Africanism movement, Marcus Garvey, folklorist and writer, Louise Bennett Coverley, or Miss Lou. One of the top five fastest female sprinters, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, and retired basketball Hall of Famer Patrick Ewing. And who can overlook football stars like Rolando Ahrens and Raheem Sterling? For those seeking a taste of some Jamaican YouTubers, be sure to check out the soccer centric Javier Nathaniel, Yacht Boys, and Acom Entertainment. Number 9 Cuisine of Jamaica. When a country's local cuisine has been influenced by a mess of different cultures, you're often left with a crazy selection of different foods that somehow all fuse together nicely. That's Jamaican cuisine in a nutshell, as you can go from enjoying something as spiced as curry seasoned goat to sweeter tropical fruits like jackfruit. Early Spanish settlement introduced dishes like Escovich fish before Chinese influence crept in and introduced more Asian flavors. Yeah, I've heard like, um... If you do ever go to Jamaica, it's best to go into a town and go into the markets. The cheaper food, you can get better food as well. In town. Yeah, you get more of that Jamaica feel if you go into the markets and yeah. stuff. And you get the local fish, and you know, well, local fish as well. So. Well, if the food's not halal, they'll have to eat the vegetables and the fish. Yeah. Like a and that. Yeah, but then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Some common cuisines to Jamaica include ackee and saltfish, jerk chicken, and corned beef. You may also come across Jamaican patties made from beef, chicken, or saltfish, oh, run down, or salt mackerel and coconut milk or cream, or a selection of bread and pastries like grater cake, spice bun, and bulla cakes. Number eight, Jamaican patwa. Wagwan, Jamaica! <laughs> No, it's not some delicious French dessert. Patois is actually the local dialect okay. heard throughout Jamaica, also known locally as Jamaican Creole. Everything in the house, no doubt. Not about everything, everything. Patois. Your bed not there to sleep on. Derived from English, Patois bears heavy influence from West Africa, especially from African slaves that were brought to Jamaica during the 17th century. Though you'll recognize some standard English words in Patois, the language is vastly different, featuring only 21 phonemes compared to English's 44, and between 9 and 16 different vowel sounds. Also, unlike English, Patois doesn't offer the benefit of tense indicators like ED, instead using invariant particles like EN and A, which are Red unable it. to stand on their Red own. Red. While much of Patois vocabulary is African in origin and some is pulled from English, small portions were borrowed from Spanish, Hindi, Arawak and Portuguese vocabulary, as well as Irish and Scottish dialects. Everything going to be Irish. Number seven, ahead of its time. 
For an island tucked in the midst of the Caribbean, it's quite an innovator, and not just regionally to the Caribbean either. Though some countries have been enjoying the benefits of a public railway transportation system for quite some time, in 1845, the British colony of Jamaica built the Railways of Jamaica, marking the first line open outside of Europe and North America. Along with some of the other firsts that Jamaica achieved, it was the first country in the Caribbean to gain its independence, launch its own website, monitor literacy, and most importantly, become featured on Snapchat. It's also believed that Jamaica had running water and electricity before many cities in the United States yeah. and had a series of phone lines so sophisticated that AT&T copied it for their own American setup. Mm. Number Did six, religion of Jamaica. Outside of Vatican City, Jamaica is known for having the most churches per square mile, typically averaging about 2.75 religious establishments to cater to the majority of Protestant and Roman Catholic Christians. The country is comprised of approximately 64% Christian followers, and while that far surpasses the 29,000 plus Rastafarians, Rastafarianism is the largest indigenous religion to Jamaica. Hidden beneath all of this religious faith, however, is the history of Obia, a form of alleged sorcery and witchcraft initially developed by West African slaves. Obia spread to Jamaica during the 18th century and wasn't really frowned upon until Tacky's War, during which an Obia man, or Obia witch doctor, was caught providing the rebels with information. Obia was made illegal, and anyone caught practicing it would be jailed or flogged. What? Although the archaic laws that limited practice of the voodoo-like religion were since repealed in 2013. Number five, Port Royal. Depicted in the Pirates of the Caribbean series as a riotous and seemingly lawless place for the Caribbean's undesirables to converge, Port Royal was, well, exactly that. Nicknamed the most wicked and sinful city in the world, Port Royal was once a way station for pirates and the largest city in the Caribbean. Though it survived years of piracy, even serving as a place of execution for the brigands, it proved no match for Mother Nature. In June of 1692, after the city had experienced a growth in population and construction, an earthquake collapsed much of the northern section. A second destructive earthquake in January of 1907 demolished much of the rebuilt city, liquefying more of the unstable sand. Port Royal stands today as a redeveloped tourist attraction, complete with 17th century elements of a once bustling port. Number four, prehistoric people of Jamaica. Before pirates and slaves inhabited the lands of this Caribbean tropical beauty, Jamaica was home to a series of indigenous colonies dating as far back as 4000 BC. Long before the Arawakan people were known to inhabit the Caribbean island, Jamaica was occupied by the cave-dwelling Guanahatabe. The Guanahatabe, or Chiboni, were a Caribbean tribe believed to have stemmed from the Taino people and were inhabitants of western Cuba. At around 300 AD, Jamaica saw the arrival of a second group of prehistoric people, the Saladoid or Igneris. Later found to be an early wave of the Arawakan from South America, the Saladoids brought a skill for ceramics. By 650 AD, the Taino traveled from Venezuela to Jamaica and absorbed and enslaved the Saladoid before eventually assimilating into Arawakan culture themselves. Number three, Jamaica in sports. We briefly mentioned Jamaica's claim to athletic fame, Usain Bolt, but there's more to the country's athletics than the award-winning sprinter. Many sports make up Jamaica's most popular, but among them, you'll likely hear most about track and field, football, cricket, and in most recent years, basketball. As eight-time Olympic gold medalist Bolt proved, the country is serious about its sprinting, but the Jamaican national football team has also proven to be a prolific team of athletes. In 1991, 1998, 2005, 2008, and 2010, Jamaica's football team won the Caribbean Cup. Also in 1998, they reigned over Japan in that year's FIFA World Cup. A bit more successful than its football team is the national cricket team, which has pulled ahead in 10 regional four-day competitions and seven WCB Cups. Maybe more surprising than all of this is the Jamaican bobsled team, which competed in the 1988, 1992, 1994, 1998, 2002, and 2014 Winter Olympics. I'm just trying to be the best I can be. So am I. And the best I can be is Jamaican. Number two, Jamaican world records. 
As mentioned previously, Jamaica takes its sprinting seriously, which is why it currently holds the men's record for the 100, 150, and 200 meter dashes. Of course, that record goes to Usain Bolt, but he's far from the only impressive Jamaican out there. In fact, local Christopher Taylor took the 400 meter dash record for the under 18 boys age group, beating out 15 year old Karate James's prior record by 0.01 seconds. Beyond sports, Jamaicans also hold the record for the most books donated to charity in a week with over 65,700 books. In September of 2016, Isaiah Triforce Johnson broke the record for most wins against Tetrabot in Tetris Ultimate in a 24-hour time period, earning 614 wins. Number 1. Jamaican Independence on August 6th of each year, Jamaica celebrates its own Independence Day. But an independence from whom, you ask? Prior to becoming its own sovereign state after a series of rebellions and the formation of the local political parties of the People's National Party and Jamaica Labor Party, the island was colonized by the British. Actually, the Spanish Empire took it first from the indigenous people, but after 146 years of Spanish rule, the British were sure to snatch it and add it to its collection of colonies. Ultimately, Jamaica owes its independence independence partially to World War II, which created the decolonization movement. In 1962, the Jamaica Independence Act was passed by the United Kingdom, though it remained within the Commonwealth. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, and click the... Yeah, so that's a bit of history when uh, the UK had to sell its empire just mm -hmm. in front of World War II. Yeah, so yeah, and we're learning like that, where this is, you know, the America was in the Great Depression, and from the the UK to sell his empire to pay Americans to come and help in the war. So, yeah. Mm. That was really interesting. There's so many talented people in Jamaica. There's a lot of talent. And, yeah, you know, but they're very athletic too, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, it comes mm. to sports as well. Like, I know I know a few footballers, you know, they may mention mm. Sterling. Yeah. Well, the, the Jamaicans are talented in singing and dancing, sports, you know, all, all physical activities. They're good at aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're really good. And tall. Some are tall, yeah, some are tall. Yeah, yeah, you know, like the big basketball players are always very, very tall and mostly. Yeah, they're just natural yeah. at everything, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, they've got natural talents. Yeah, yeah, I love Jamaica. It's I mean, one place I always wanted to visit and I still want to go there. So, what made you want to go there? I what? just love everything about uh, Jamaica. Well, it's always been something I wanted to do, you know, just look at the palm trees, the beaches, the people, the, you know, Everything. I just want what? to learn more about, uh, more history about Jamaica. I want to just go out there and visit. There's one what? place I want to go to. Oh, wow. okay. Which fact were you more surprised about? Um, I wasn't no, surprised by anything, but I was, yeah. I was very uh, intrigued. Yeah, intrigued when um, we talk about the history. Yeah. Yeah, like, and mm -hmm. I knew some of it, but like, something like, it's really nice to see, but I was like, you forget like pirates do exist. Mm. You know, they're not fake. You see on Pirates Caribbean, they're, they're real pirates. Yeah, Port they, Royal. Yeah, exactly. Mm, that's real. Yeah, no, like, it's it's no joke. They're serious people, these pirates. Yeah. So, yeah, don't mess I with them. I always used to love what, the reading pirate stories. And I also like the colour. Um, uh, People who know me know that I like bright colours. And I love the colour of clothes and everything. There's everything about Jamaica that, you know, I just love. It's just me. Yeah. So, yeah, Jamaica. Here I come, when yeah. the lockdown's over, I'm not going anywhere for the next two years, even though I've got my, both my injections. Vaccine, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that they celebrate Independence Day, and it's good to understand why, because like there were other countries like taking over, and now Jamaica <laughs> own it themselves. Yeah, but they were living as slaves, weren't they? So many yeah. people that, that misused, weren't they? So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you know, treat because... them like humans, just like everybody else is yeah. human. Yeah, can't wait to go. It's going to mean you. And me. Pay for yourself. You never know. And if you guys would like to see more content like this, it'll be on the screen and comment down below if you'd like us to react to more videos like this.